Man, ya. Welcome to Gatwick, London. Where do we get a taxi from? What's happening? We're in Gypsy Hill Brewery in South London. And basically what I'm doing today is we are shooting a couple of videos. So I'm, like, I'm gonna do some establishing shots. The shots outside, the logos, the location. And then I'm gonna do a brewery tour with Johnny as we walk around and learn a bit about the brewery. Maybe some interviews with the guys. And then we're gonna do a little piece of camera with them about some yeast that they're experimenting with. So fun day, I'm only here for one day. So I'm gonna get it all done and back to the airport. Never wreckied any of these locations. So whenever you pitch up to them, we always take a little walk around, look at all the details that I want to capture, and then you've got to sort of piece it together pretty quickly. So for me, I'm looking at things like the street signs to sort of give you location, a wide shot of the area. I'm looking at the logos, opening times, uh, you know, little bits and pieces, maybe some of the brickwork, and just those little bits to set the scene before we go in. And then I'll have to do that each time we go into each room. So it's kind of mad, like Johnny will go around and, and, and learn a bit and work out what the brewery is about. We'll walk around, we'll get him talking all in one go. And then I'll do a loop back around afterwards and do any pickup shots for like B-roll afterwards. I don't really want any of the bins in shot. So I'm gonna get in here and do the old, it's like a pan reveal. That'll allow me to show that like depth of what I'm trying to do here without showing the bins. You know what I mean? So like, from in behind the wall, You'd lock your focus there. I should probably have a hood over the screen, but I don't have it with me today. I am having to rely a lot on the histogram to get the light right. I'm shooting an S-Log 2, and I'm shooting exposed like two stops to the right for this sort of stuff, using an ND filter as well. So there is a, there's a lot of histogram reading going on. And it's especially when you're moving from like outside, how bright that is, to like inside, it changes dramatically. So I'm in a fridge changing conditions here a lot. The keg room keeps the kegs cold. And sometimes you're in a really cold room and then sometimes you're in it's a very, very hot and humid condition. Sometimes you're doing something and the whole camera just completely steams up. Also part of what we do is Johnny writes a blog article of like the trips we do in some of the videos. So she's like this, I also want to take photographs. And the quickest way to take photos is just stick it on auto. I could set up a preset thing. I just stick it on auto because they're just photographs for a blog article as we go. Because I'm filming a scene, an area, or a piece of machinery, or whatever that is, I flick it to auto, stamp a few photographs as well, and back on to, because if you shoot in manual and you're on air slow, don't listen to what people say, it does affect the photograph in the end because you do get an S-log photograph that you then have to deal with in post-production, which is bullshit. So that's what I do. Stick it on the order. Second lap, Mike. Right. Now to get quite creative here. Two cameras, two microphones, audio going into each camera two people mic'd up. We've got wall in the background, then that's really want all the stuff here. I also don't have a full size tripod with me. Now, most of that is because we flew here with EasyJet. I've had issues before with EasyJet where they can be a real pain in the ass with tripods, the size of your bags and stuff. So I thought I'll bring the Gorilla Pod so I can just rig it onto something and then make, do a makeshift, makeshift tripod. Just so we get that in the background. I wanted to shoot it outside, but there's a lot of lorries driving about and the rain keeps going on and off. Not Lorraine, I don't know who she is. There'll be B-roll over it anyway. Here's the space that. Right, moved all this shit around. Look at that. See? A little effort goes a long way. So this will be the talking bit because it's nicely lit, it's a good, good backdrop, you got rid of all that shit. Move things out of shot, especially bins, because that's what it'll look like now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, we're gonna talk about beer. Glasses. Someone once said to me, you can't polish a turd, but you can roll it in glitter. Glitter, glitter. All right, 
Do you remember the double mic thing? Not happening. Another one of the challenges. The guy Johnny, who I, who I work for, like, give me a challenge. Like, a minute before we go to shoot this, he's like, there's gonna be three of us. Uh, I wanna get all three of us at the same time. I was like, I can't. I've only got two lav mics. I've only prepped for two. I haven't got an audio interface to run a third microphone in, even if I did. So the solution is gonna be to put the Sennheiser MKE into one of the transmitters and then get him to hold it. <laughs> Just and then interview him like that. Hey guys, so tell me about this. Challenges. Is it a very directional weapon? Yes. You get the two guys here. And then it just means it, it gives you a bit more control when you direct the conversation. So when you're talking, you're talking on the microphone and then just bring it to where you're talking. No, I haven't. Right, so this is going to be, this video is an ABD studio at first, and then we'll get Simon in for a bit about the Burry, the, the Burry video. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Gallery Channel. So today I'm joined by Jim and Max. So Jim is head brewer here at Gypsy Hill. And Hello, Sam, here. Can you just explain to me very briefly? Roughly, how much do you like this? We'll then collate those scores and pick out some of the most the highlights of what people have tasted. And sometimes, if it's the first day of fermentation, we'll take another sample. Extra aroma coming through with the little fermentation that is happening. Finished back to the airport.